This is Sierra Leone's diamond capital. So many Africans and non-Africans made their fortune here, including some of the richest people in my own country, the Gambia. Have Americans, the Chinese, the Ghanaian, Nigerian, Lebanese, Malians, Senegalese, Guineans. They are all in the business. West African majority in the diamond sector, Gambians people, they are the many. In Sierra Leone, as far as mineral is concerned, so many different nationalities all over the world are here. There are numerous diamond and gold offices in the city center. Some of them buy and sell locally, while others export to Dubai, China, Netherlands. Some are exporting to America. It depends where you have your business partner. It's more than $12,000. Is it only this one or this one? No, only this. Only this? Yeah. This is one out of many local gold mines in Kono. And this is also one out of many diamond mines. Obtaining diamond or gold requires a long and difficult process. These carpets work like magnets for diamond and gold. You can find the gold inside here. They then remove the carpet and give it a thorough wash in a big plastic container filled with water. Now that the gold is in this water, this is the next step. This shiny liquid that you are looking at is the gold. We are born in it right now. You can see the can the original color of the of the mineral. It brings out the true color once it's burnt. This is basically the process involved in obtaining gold in the local gold mines, and it is pretty much the same process in the diamond mines as well. <laughs> Many of the individuals mining here don't own their equipment. They are usually funded by the businessmen in town. Yusuf, a Gambian man, is one of them. So we used to take five, seven, eight people to sponsor them, send them to the mining area. When they get it and come with it, and we buy it from them, we sell it, and they have their own percentage. Some of these miners go from being broke one day and millionaire the next. We complain a lot about how Africa is being exploited, that Africans are not benefiting from the resources on the continent. But the truth is, Africans are actually benefiting, even though it's mostly on an individual basis. Some of the wealthiest people in my own country made their resources on the continent in places like Angola and Sierra Leone. But then, instead of investing in, in, in scalable businesses that have the potential to employ thousands of Gambians and contribute significantly to the Gambian economy, they invested in rental properties. That's a topic for another day, but the point is, Africa is rich, but corruption and bad leadership are the reasons why some of these nations are still in poverty while producing wealthy individuals from different parts of the world. At the time of filming this video, the price of gold here is $13 per carat. It's $5,000 for one kg right now. For one kg of gold? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. While the price of fine diamonds in the same quantity is approximately $5 million. Some diamonds are rough diamonds, some are white, some are orange. The best one is the color. You can sell it $1,000 per carat. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
Maurice is a Senegalese Sierra Leonean. His father was part of the early Senegambians who went to Sierra Leone to work in the diamond industry. I was born in Sierra Leone. I grew up in Senegal also. I've come back here. I entered into the mining sector for both gold and diamond for the past 20 years now. Okay, so tell me, how, what is the process like here? We have a large-scale mining, we have a small-scale mining. An exploration mining license is required in order to engage in large-scale mining. Have you seen over there? Yeah. A Chinese woman owns this exploration mine, and Koido Holdings, a subsidiary of Octia Mining, owns another one. Octia Mining is owned by different, different nationalities. The South Africans, the Russians, Americans. It's a joint stock company. The other type of license is the artisanal mining license. You don't need a lot of heavy equipment for this one. You can essentially start with an excavator. And then you have local miners. Since they are people from the same communities, they consider themselves as the owners of the land, so they don't have a license of machines. And after a full day's labor, they typically get 2 to 3 grams of gold. The artisanal miners receive an average of 50 to 70 grams, whereas the explorational miners they produce kilos of gold daily. The riches on the continent is found in the wilderness, it's in the bush. It's sad to see so many young Africans take this deadly route to Europe in the hopes of finding a better life. Something that they could have found if they have simply traveled within the continent like the Sarahules did. We have gold, we have diamond, we have chromite, we have bauxite, we have iron ore. All this country in Africa have these minerals. Diamonds are the main minerals in Botswana. 50% of the government's resources comes from diamond mining. And today, Botswana is an upper middle income country with one of the highest GDPs in Africa. Why is Botswana experiencing success while other African nations are not? The simple answer is good leadership, sound government policies. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below and if you found value in this video, subscribe to the channel. This Gambian brother prefers to stay anonymous. During my stay in Kono, he paid for all my expenses, my lodging, food, transportation, all the logistics involved in filming this video. I really can't thank him enough but during the short time I spent with him, I saw people go in and out of his office with sums of money that I have never seen before in my life and one thing that taught me was abundance. That's one of the lessons I learned from this trip. I don't know where this scarcity mindset of ours came from, but truly there's abundance of wealth in the world. There's enough for everyone. Just imagine, as you can see the hill, all this hill you can see as a gold. It's a gold reserve land, bro. And diamond as well, or diamond is another No, diamond is behind the hill. Imagine, diamonds were discovered in Sierra Leone in the 1930s, and since then, people have been mining here, and no matter how much they mine, they cannot finish the minerals. And that reminds me of this ayah. You know how Allah used this example that if the whole sea, you know, was an ink for his knowledge, his wisdom, like the whole sea will run out before he runs out of, like, things to say, or his knowledge runs out. Like, we can use the similar example with, with the resources, with the, with the minerals and the wealth that he blessed us with. No matter how much we use it like we human beings we cannot finish it you know it's it will never run out it will never run out like we're in dunya matallahi la tusuha that's what this trip taught me what have you learned from this video share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more videos peace